Hello, Scorpio. Sorry, I had hair in my eye. I was like, well, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of January 4th to January 10th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Um, just email me or DM me and we can go ahead and set that up. Make sure you also click on the video link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Otherwise, let's get your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe. Can you please provide your truth for listener, clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for the period of January 4th to January 10th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe, and close your divine through your messages? Scorpio, what do you see? What do they need to know? January 4th to January 10th, please. What are the energies that Scorpio passed out of prior to this period of time? We have the Knight of Swords in reversed. Make sure you check out my playlist in there are my 2021 Sun Moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? We have the Four of Cups in reversed for energies to expect in January, January 4th, sorry. Um, ask your questions to go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Wow. Okay, so... I, I feel like prior to January 4th, there's, there's somebody, um, there's somebody who stirs up a lot of, a, a lot of drama, a lot of controversy or what have you. And they aren't, they do it by not being very truthful. Okay. Um, the Knight of Swords is known for being dishonest, but, but the thing about the Knight of Swords is when he does say something, he makes it sound like it is the truth. Um, you know, he, he talks people into stuff. He'll convince them that something is true when in fact it's not. Or he'll convince somebody that he's going to do something or he's going to follow through with something and that doesn't end up being the case. Um, he, he talks a very, very good talk. So um, very good in that regard and very believable in that regard. But again, you know, when it come, you try to pin him down on something, um, there's nothing to be had from him. Um, so I, I see the Four of Cups here in reversed. And I almost am getting this sensation that you're wasting too much time with this person. Um, I feel as though you kind of tell yourself, as long as I kind of entertain this person or I'm connected to them or what have you, they they are just causing, um, you know, either other people to, to um, you know, uh, what, what's a good it's almost like they repel other people. So when you hang out with them, you know, other people know what their reputation is and they're they're like, they'll come walking up the hallway and be like, oh, how are you doing, Jana? And then they'll see you with this person and be like, oh, okay. And then they'll just turn and they'll, they'll kind of walk away. So I feel like this person, um, you being associated with them or whatever your connection is, um, affects you negatively. Um, and, and I'm, and I'm kind of getting that you sense that. And as long as you continue to kind of hang out with them or whatever, be associated with them, I think that, um, things are out of your grasp or you're missing out on other opportunities. Um, other things that you could be doing, offers that you could be doing. I am feeling as though, you know, somebody might, um, you know, offer you a job or offer you to go out or something like that, but because you're associated with this person, um, you know, they decide not to, <laughs> or they take tend to pass over you onto somebody else. Um, and, and you kind of put up with this energy and you've been putting up with this energy, um, you know, quite a long time, I feel like, not like a long time, but longer than you should have. Maybe that's a good way of putting that. Um, and you know, you have to do something about it. So it's kind of like, well, you know, I, I need to come out of just like not doing anything about them and be very, um, very, um, I don't know, just handle them or something like that. So they don't kind of affect you the way that they are. Um, you know, I get it's an immature kind of energy. As you move forward out of the week, um, I, I think here you have every intent. You're like, I just can't sit here and allow this person to affect my life the way that they do or what have you. I'm missing out on too much. Um, so you have every intention. You're, you're like, you know, maybe you're setting a time point on your calendar and saying, okay, well, you know, after this week, then I'll deal with them. I'll handle it. 
But as you move out of January 4th into the first week, into the second week, I see you starting to remember all the good stuff about this person. So maybe this was a friend, somebody you've been friends with ever since you guys were kids or in high school. Um, you know, maybe this is a family member who is a black sheep of the family, but regardless, you still have an attachment to them. Um, maybe it's, um, you know, a romantic association you have and you're, you're like, oh, they just don't understand them. They don't see them when they're like this. You Know, they have a really good side to them so um you're, you're thinking about all the good times and all the good qualities about this person and then you know the the way that they're affecting you negatively is just kind of like sinking to the bottom and all the good stuff's coming to the top um this connection you have to them you you just like I said, it's nostalgia, it's a connection. And they might also um, feel like you have that attitude with, um, in, regard to, in regards to them because of their immaturity, you know, like you make excuses for them. Like, oh, you know what, they're just, they're just, you know, they, they don't, they don't mean what they say. They don't, they're not, they don't think before they say something. So you make excuses for them. One of the things that I feel like um, you're going to say as an excuse, because we're talking about after this week, is you tell people they had a really hard, a hard childhood. When they were younger, they were always, you know, really hard to handle and stuff like that. And you kind of feed this into the big picture. So, I mean, I feel like you're almost, um, you know, making excuses for this person's behavior and, you know, they're preventing you from being some place or getting other opportunities or what have you so why does this knight of swords here in reverse for scorpio's energy prior to january 4th who is this person what is this energy? additional messages please why is the knight of swords here in reverse the hanged man yeah you uh, Okay, so you definitely hung out with this person longer than you should have. I feel like um, with the hanged man, you just kind of hung around. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like you wanted to kind of do anything to rock the boat or what have you. You did use the time to kind of think about what you were going to do, but you held off from doing anything. So maybe you were thinking about your relationship with this person or your connection and maybe things are going to get better maybe they won't you you wanted to you want to wait before you do anything you wanted to wait before you do anything but the king of swords in the upright kind of tells me that you see this as clear as day you kind of know what you have to do um you knew that kind of maybe cutting this person loose is going to benefit you in the long run you knew because because you looked at this logically and you you took your emotions out of it and said and objectively and said okay Okay, you know, this this isn't, you know, it, what, what would I tell a friend if a friend was in this situation is, is what I feel like you're kind of doing and you're kind of saying, yeah, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have anything to do with this person or I would, you know, uh, tell them to get away from this person. And I see that this person's limiting your opportunities. So there, there's a lot of things that you, um, you could have pursued, you could have done, um, a lot of options you could have had, but they sailed away into, you know, into oblivion um, because you were so focused on this person or this person limited um, your opportunities and, and whatnot. And that's what we kind of saw over here with this Four of Cups in reverse. So why is this Four of Cups here in reverse for Scorpios? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Four of Cups in reverse for Scorpios. Energies for January 4th. Who is this person? What's this energy? Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, um, so the, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse indicates to me that this person just wants you all to themselves. Again, you're not getting to do the things you want to do or what have you because you're so limited. Um, they might be the type of person that like they stay at home a lot. They don't want you going out. They don't want you doing anything. When you do, they make you feel badly. You know, you leave and they're like, oh, you're neglecting. You're leaving it at home. You're going to go out and have fun. You know, I mean, I don't know if it's like that kind of what, you know, is kind of going on here. Um, and the Ace of Wands in reverse kind of says to me that, you know, the, the party's over with this person. Um, I mean, I, I feel like at this point, you just, you're, you, you don't have any reason, you're not motivated to, to fix this, make it work. I, I think this person's very, um, 
they can be very tedious. Um, you put a lot of energy into them and you're just not inspired to kind of do it anymore. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, um, you know, and Ace of Wands is also about, you know, rejecting somebody. So you might be thinking about giving them the boot. Um, I think you think if you do that, you were, things are going to turn around for you um, rather quickly because the Wheel of Fortune in, in the upright is saying, okay, I have an idea if I get rid of this person or I kind of like whatever, um, if things are, my situation's immediately going to improve. There's going to be people that, you know, kind of want to be around me. Um, you know, it's, it's just things are going to be better. Um, the Wheel of Fortune also indicates that whatever this connection is you have with this person, it's it's unpredictable. You don't know what to expect from them. Um, one day it's up, next day it's down. Um, it can be very, you know, cyclical. I think of the Wheel of Fortune as that. But the Wheel of Fortune is also a 10, which leads me to believe that you're kind of coming to the end of this, like it ran its course. So, I mean, it seems like the that week you have it all tied up. You know what you're going to do, but then I think... Um, nostalgia kind of tugs at you here why is the six of cups here in reverse who is this person what's this energy additional messages for the six of cups in reversed why is the six of cups here in reverse who's this person what's this energy okay so this person means something to you um for you to kind of let them go it is really going to be hard for you you would actually um grieve that you would be very sorrowful and you would have a very hard time um kind of coming back from that and bouncing back from that um in fact you'd have a hard time kind of seeing anything else so you know the thought of, of just booting this person and no longer being attached to them is just um is going to be a really hard cross for you to bear i feel um because the four of wands here is saying this person has very joyful times associated to them you remember times when you celebrated with them maybe they were their friends the family um, maybe your family you know you guys had family celebrations and reunions um maybe this is somebody who was your roommate you got your first apartment with them um i mean it could be a romantic connection but it can also be a lot of other connections i'm kind of saying but you have these happy times and you remember um the four four of wands i'm getting you remember like way back when it first started and how it started and how great it was and how gleeful you guys were gleeful wow that's like a that's like a 1910s term isn't it like oh i'm really gleeful um but but that's what you kind of assign so you're remembering the really really good times that you had um with this person but i think i think even though like i said nostalgia is kind of tugging at you and you guys have a history um, the four of swords in reverse is saying that you just are like running through this cycle with this person and that was then this is kind of now and there's part of you that wishes that they could change that they could be different but there's also part of you that that doesn't feel like you could do it anymore because they aren't changing um and the situation remains the same so as much as things change they stay the same kind of um and and that's what i'm kind of getting so i i do think moving out of the first um week of january as you transition in the second week you're really gonna um have a hard time kind of seeing how you feel and fighting um that nostalgia and that sorrow and and those great memories you had with that person and and seeing things for what they really are um i mean over here you had objectivity but i think towards in the second week um you're going to start losing that objectivity and the emotions are going to start creeping in so that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Playlists have my 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios, Veronica Garnett. Bye.